Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this video I am going to be demonstrating our snapbook financial sheets for photographers. These financial spreadsheets are made specifically for Microsoft Excel. They are both Mac and PC compatible, so if you have Microsoft Excel um, on your computer already, these will work um, with that. So let's get started. I just wanted to show you an overview of what the spreadsheets look like and how they work and why it's important to have a spreadsheet. Um, if you don't have a spreadsheet for your business, then you're really missing out on some really key uh, organization and financial history. So this keeps everything in one place. It calculates all of your totals at the end of the month and it's really great um, to print out and give to your CPA at the end of the year or quarterly depending on how much uh, you go in to file for your taxes. Okay, so the first thing you need to do in the spreadsheet is come up here and you see this estimated income tax percentage and the sales tax percentage. Now when you hover over these boxes you'll see these little pop-ups and this is just to give you more tips and examples on, um, on what to do. So your estimated tax inco income tax percentage is going to vary depending on your income. So when I started my photography business, I was only saving about 16% of income tax. Now I'm saving about 35. So it really depends on how much you're making. So make sure that you get with your CPA and get that established. So you're saving um, the right amount of money so you're not um, having to shell out money at the end of the year. Same with your sales tax percentage. Not all uh, states require sales tax and some counties in your state don't require it. Make sure that you know exactly how much you need to be charging your clients in order to plug this in. So I'm going to just plug this in at 35% and then I'm going to plug this in for uh, my sales tax is 6.75 and that's what I pay for my county. So when you when you have this plugged in, then this table down here, your sales history table, is going to work flawlessly. If you don't have these filled in, then your sales tax is not going to be applied, and then the S, you know, at the end, your income tax will not be calculated either. So make sure that you have this plugged in for every single chart. So for every month, you need to go ahead and fill this in. You can see how it's not filled in. So before you start a new month, just make sure that that's plugged in and then you can get started. So the sales history chart, this is basically where you plug in your client's information, uh, date, there's a little spot for notes if you want to, you know, name your clients um, by a number or what kind of package that they had and then you can put in how much sales. So let's just say on the first I had a client named Joe and it was a senior session and I sold $900 worth of product. See now this is going to automatically calculate that I need to charge Joe $60.75 for tax because I don't want to pay that out of pocket. And this is the total. So after you have all this done down here, you can see how much the sales and how much the sales tax percentage. Okay, so let me go ahead. And down here is your estimated business income after taxes. This is just an estimation. We are not um, providing, you know, 100% accurate information. This just depends on you and your state and your laws and your CPA. So make sure that you get with a CPA um, for your final tax information. 
Now after the sales history spreadsheet, you can come down here and there's nine itemized business expenses tables. So they're each labeled something different. This is office supplies, insurance, photography supplies, marketing and advertising, business fees, traveling, education, professional services, and miscellaneous. Now, depending on your specific business, you can go ahead and you can change the names of these categories. Just when you change these names, make sure you come up here to the expense summary and change the corresponding um, row. So that way you're not confused at the end of the month. So let's say that I just went out today um, and I bought $50 worth of uh, office supplies. So I'm going to write 50 and I'm just going to do a description like I could do like a receipt number from the receipt. I could do a description of what I exactly paid for. It's up to you and how it works. I'm just going to do office supplies. So then at the end of the month, you're going to see a total down here. So I could add like, you know, maybe later I spent $15 on office supplies. And that's going to total down here. And then at the end of the month, you can come up here to your business expense summary and you can see exactly how much um, you spent that month on office supplies. So it's all calculated here. And then at the end of the month, all of these categories are going to be added up together with a total. So let's go down here and say I spent $200 on advertising on the 5th and I, s I did this for like um, a paper ad. So then I can come up here and I can look, oh I spent $200 on marketing adver advertising, I spent exactly $265 total this month on business expenses. So then this is going to change because you're going to see your estimated income after taxes is going to change because of your expenses. So that's pretty much it for um, the monthly sheet. Actually, I'm going to show you one more thing. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see photography equipment expenditures. Now this is where you record if you bought a new camera or a new lens or what not uh, for photography equipment since it's not um, tax deductible, you need to record that separately and you can talk to your CPA for more information about that. So I'll scroll back up and ev like I said before, every month is the same. So at the yearly totals, this basically just adds up everything at the end of the year. So you can see how when we filled out January, you can see the totals and this is going to total up the entire year. So you have your yearly totals, your yearly income before taxes, after taxes, expenses, total yearly sales tax, and total yearly income tax. So this is a great reference if you file your taxes once a year. You can just print this off and hand over to your CPA and they know exactly what numbers you're working with. You'll also need to um, print off the other months too, but this is a great overview to look at. And it also, um, at the end of the year, it will record the yearly photography ex equipment expenditures as well. And scrolling down, um, this is a brief overview of your expense summary. So January, we spent exactly $265 on expenses. And if you scroll down further, you're going to see a yearly itemized business expense summary. So this breaks it down even more to show you exactly how much you spent on office supplies for the year, uh, photography supplies, marketing, all these other expenses. Okay. And 
also we have the itemized expenses by month. So you can go into each month and you'll see the category for each month. So this is kind of what you can see on the individual spreadsheet, but this is a great end of the year um, analysis where you can just kind of uh, look at the numbers side by side with each month and see how much you spent when and what did you spend. And it's really good for printing out at the end of the year and kind of um, taking all the all the work from the previous months and just putting them all together and looking at them side by side. And then the itemized expenses from the end of the month, these are just um, other expenses. And then you can come down here and the total equipment expenditures from each month. So that's broken down even more. So you can see how these tables work flawlessly together. They add up at the end of the year and it's really great for your organization for your photography business to keep track of your finances so you know exactly how much you need to be spending and how much you need to be charging in order to be a profitable business. So um, thanks for tuning in and I will leave a link to the spreadsheet in the comments below. So um, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.